Most networks use Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DHCP, to assign IP addresses in a network. These addresses are given out from a pool of IP addresses. They're not permanent and can change over time. In some cases, you may want to change a dynamic IP to a static IP address so that it doesn't change. This is considered a best practice on switches that handle a lot of network traffic. If you need to set access rules, firewall rules, or make future changes on the switch, you will want a static IP on the switch interface. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to convert a Cisco business switch CBS 220, 250, or 350 dynamic IP address to a static IP address on the VLAN 1 interface. To begin, there are a few settings that need to be configured on the web user interface. Log into the switch by entering your username and password. Although the default for both is Cisco in all lowercase, it is best practice to change the default login credentials. Enter yours here. Next, navigate to Status and Statistics, and then System Summary. Here, you can see the MAC address and firmware of the switch. A MAC address is the unique number associated with a specific piece of equipment. The MAC address can also be found on the back or the bottom of the switch. Knowing the MAC address will help you find out the DHCP IP address that is connected to that switch. Move over to the IPv4 Configuration tab and select IPv4 Interface. In this example, the IP address type on the VLAN 1 interface is DHCP, and the current IP address ends in 1.129. The beginning two octets will be blurred in this video. This is to maintain privacy for this network. On this switch example, the VLAN 1 interface is the only one configured. To change the IP address, check the box in front of VLAN 1 and then select the Edit icon. Under IP Address Type, select the Static IP Address Radio button. This has made the IP address static instead of dynamic. If that's all you need, you're set. But if you want to change the static IP to a specific static IP address, there are a few more steps that need to be performed. To show this, I'll close and not save the changes. Still on the IPv4 interface, click the Add icon. Leave VLAN 1, choose Static IP Address, and add an IP address. In this case, I'll enter an IP ending in 76.13. Enter a prefix length of 24, which is the same as a network mask of 255.255.255.0, but quicker to enter. Click Apply. A pop-up will notify you that changing to a static IP address will delete the dynamic IP. Click OK to continue. The Add IP Interface screen changes. That is because the IP address has been changed, so you are no longer connected. You need to go to the web browser and enter the new IP address that you just configured. In this case, I'll enter an IP ending in 76.13. Once you have entered your IP address, you will be brought back to the login screen. Log in using your credentials and then hit the login button. Now, to confirm these settings, navigate to IPv4 configuration and choose IPv4 interface. The VLAN 1 interface address type is currently set to static and the IP address ends with 76.13. If you're set, Click on the blinking red Save icon to save this configuration. If you want to change it to another IP address in the same subnet, you have a few options. You can delete the entry by clicking on the Delete icon, wait for a new dynamic IP address to be assigned, and then follow the steps we went through earlier. Another option is to add another IP address to the same VLAN as a static IP. It's important to note that if you're trying to add another IP address in the same subnet, the switch will not allow it. The solution is to add an IP address in a totally different subnet. Once that has been added, you need to change your PC so it is in the same subnet. That way, they can connect and communicate. To do this, go into your Windows settings under Network and Internet Status Settings. Enter Change Adapter Options. Click the Ethernet port you're using. Select Properties. 
then TCP slash IPv4 properties. Set a static IP in the same subnet that was assigned to VLAN 1 on the switch. The subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. In this case, I don't need to enter a default gateway, but if you enter one, put in the IP address of the switch. Click OK and OK again. To verify this change, in the Windows search bar, enter Command Prompt and select. Type ipconfig and hit Enter. The new IP address is listed here. Enter the new IP address in a web browser. Type in your credentials and click Login. Under IPv4 Configuration and then IPv4 Interface, you will see the two addresses. Since only one is being used for management, you can delete the other one. Click to select the old IP address and then the delete icon. Select the plus icon and then static IP address. Enter an IP address in that original subnet. In this example, I'll enter an IP ending in 76.15 and the prefix length of 24. Click apply. Then on your Windows PC, go into settings under network and internet status. Enter Change Adapter Options. Click the Ethernet port you are using. Select Properties, then TCP slash IPv4 Properties. Change the static IP address back to DHCP. Click OK. This will get your PC a dynamic IP address in the original subnet. Click OK. To verify, go into Command Prompt. Enter ipconfig again. Here, you will see the IP address listed. Use that new IP to log into the switch by entering the IP address in the web browser. From here, enter your credentials and log into the switch. Navigate to the IPv4 configuration and then IPv4 interface one more time. Now you can select and then click the delete icon to delete this IP address. Now you have one IP address for the switch click the red blinking save icon. This can also be done under administration, file management, and file operations. Click duplicate, running configuration to start up configuration, and apply. Nice work! You now know a few ways to change a dynamic IP address on VLAN 1 to a static IP address on a CBS 220, 250, or 350 switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.